in this video i will show you how to download kali linux vm the ready made image for vmware workstation from kali.org and configure so as per our lab setup we need a kali linux so what you can do you can google also you can go to this link kali.org open this link okay and it will open kali.org there are many uh, virtualization vm ready made virtual box hyper v and kimu we are interested in vmware so you can download uh, the torrent file either you can download directly 2.9 gb so click here and you can easily download so i already download i don't want to download again okay so if i go to uh, my download so it's here kali linux 2024.1 right click here and you can easily unzip this one okay extract after that you can rename the file name the folder name and also the file name if you want and just import into vmware workstation so i mentioned here these tips when unzip just need to go to file open and open this file okay so let me show you let me unzip first it's in my e drive okay so let's go to yeah it's done let's go down it's better to rename this folder it's better like this one and also click here and click here and rename this file as well and better to put them in the right folder here okay and just remove this one now let's go to vmware workstation click file open and go to that directory so the directory we have the uh not this one is an e os and we have kali linux which we download and unzip click here and open it after open is better right click and re, uh, rename it okay so let me rename because it's a huge name it's better to make them like this so i have kali linux 2024.1 and the memory is 2 gb so it's better to give them a more in my case i will give them 16 even for you uh, you can give them two four anything uh, make sure the network adapter is net because if you remember in our lab setup all the devices will be connected uh, the adapter will be net so this by default net this is the username kali and password is kali okay and that's it just power on and this ready-made images ready for you to use them okay so it will take some time and after that it will boot up so let me show you the steps which i follow okay so i open it then i power power on the username is kali and password is also kali this is the default username and password and finally you will log in so let's go back and here is so let me type kali and kali and click login and here is okay it will get the ip automatically as we discussed from the net adapter uh, the range will be 192.168.114 something so let's go to here and let's verify if i type if config so here you can see 192.168.114.173 it get the same range ip automatically let me zoom it so that you can see better yeah here is 192.168.114 automatically because dhcp is enabled you can see there is a dhcp enable and the dhcp range start from 128 so in this case i get this ip which is 173 so if i type again 173 and that's it so now we uh, install and configure the ready-made image okay